Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today, I'm bringing you an in-depth tour of a 2014 Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe Series 2 from Super Ventura, a model which is soon to be taken out of production. What changes come with the Series 2? Coach line has been spec'd on this model, and runs down the entire length of the car. When referring to their coupe, Rolls-Royce employ phrases and words such as sporting credentials, accelerating drive, and dynamic driving experience. Clearly, the manufacturer wants to highlight that this isn't a typical chauffeur's car. Moreover, its performance and drive can be enjoyed as much as its sumptuous interior. The Phantom Coupe is rear-wheel drive and has a 6.75 litre V12 that produces 453 brake horsepower and 531 pounds-feet of torque. That power manages to get this 2-ton behemoth from 0 to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour in 5.8 seconds. Unsurprisingly, fuel economy is a poor sub-20 miles per gallon. However, its 100 litre fuel tank does mean it has a range of 390 miles. At the rear we have the chrome exhaust tip for the parking sensors and the new Series 2 bumper. It is 5,609mm long, 1,987mm wide, 1,592mm high, and has a curb weight of 2,590kg. The coupe has 21 inch front and rear wheels with Goodyear tyres and standard or ventilated disc brakes with ABS. The iconic front grille had a slight redesign for the Series 2, but still creates a classic and unmistakable aesthetic. Attention to detail and bespoke design have always been mantras of Rolls-Royce, and that hasn't changed. It takes 60 people to handcraft each coupe that can be tailored in almost any way the buyer asks. Of course, the coupe gets the classic Rolls-Royce stainless steel front grille and spirit of ecstasy. Its design can be selected from various options. The Spirit can be customised in several ways, but the owner who spec this model went for the iconic version. It is also automated so it can be brought up and down. I will demonstrate this later in the video. The Phantom Series 2 has elegant front and rear external lights. This is also a bespoke option. The headlights change from circular to angular LED arrays, a rear bumper and a few more alloy wheel options. The fuel filler cap is on the right hand side of this car and the reversing camera pokes out from above the rear plate. The key is quite simple in its design, it's constructed from plastic and has buttons for lock, unlock and to open the boot. The coupe has suicide doors with a soft close function. As I'm sure you expected, no expense has been spared in the interior. It is the embodiment of luxury. Gas pressurised shock absorbers help to provide the smooth ride one expects from a Rolls Royce. The sill is low but quite wide, but I wouldn't say it was hard getting in and out. It is topped with a customisable plate, here dedicated to its year and place of birth. As with all my videos, I will conduct a POV tour of the interior before going into more detail.
The door can be closed in two ways, either by pulling the top indentation or by using the mechanism. This car attempts to make the driving and passenger experience as effortless as possible. At the front of the door we find the usual controls, the release catch, the release catch, the window and mirror controls and a speaker. But towards the rear we find an ashtray which can be extended out from the armrest. But towards the rear we find an ar but towards the rear we find an ashtray which can be extended out from the armrest. There is also a storage area at the bottom that can be pulled out. height of sophistication. An umbrella is located in easy reach for the driver. It is released by pressing on the button below and secured by pressing in. In the front we have lambswool floor mats which are thick and extremely soft. As we ascend to the right of the steering wheel, we find the ignition slot of the non-mechanical key, as well as for the external lights, the parking brake, the usual stalks, and the first air vent. The Phantom Coupe has an 8-speed automatic, and from the driven reviews I've read, the transition between each gear is seamless and almost unnoticeable. The veneer is in piano black, which is also found on the multifunctional wheel. There are buttons for torque, the telephone, volume, nav and shift mode, which enables the driver to access large reserves of power for extra performance. The dials are clear and clean, with fuel level and temperatures on the right, the speedo in the centre with the digital display and engine power consumption for the shift mode to the left. The central analogue clock can be exchanged for the digital display at the press of a button. The row of buttons below this are for this function and to control the music system and cameras. Below this we find controls for the glove box, the volume wheel, central locking and hazard lights. Further down we find controls for the dual zone climate control and window demist. In the central column are various controls for the seats and my favourite feature, the starlight headliner. Different portions of the seats can be selected using the highlighted streaks, and then the chrome switch can be used to actuate the motion, as demonstrated here. There are two memory banks for seat setup. The starlight headliner can be easily turned on by pressing the on-off switch and faded or brightened using the chrome scroller. The starlight headliner, which is constructed from hundreds of tiny fibre optics, was initially crafted to match the sky exactly as it was during the unveiling of the first new Phantom over Goodwood. Each customer can fully customise their headliner that can include 8 to 1600 lights. The control panel is concealed just below this and can be released with a short press. The analogue clock automatically rotates to reveal the digital display. The control panel has a central scroll wheel as well as quick select buttons for various menus and options as well as a back button. 
The scroll wheel can be controlled by scrolling and depressing the center and using the various buttons to return or get to the required menu directly. As Rolls-Royce is owned by BMW, the car's digital control panel is based on BMW's iDrive system, and from what I've seen from earlier models, it has made quite a leap in progress, both in terms of its appearance and usability. There are controls for the radio and stations, telephone with Bluetooth connection, navigation, office, applications, which includes the Rolls-Royce mobile app, vehicle information, general settings, and CD and multimedia. Finally, we have the top-down and rear-reversing camera. Before this, the Shelby Mustang GT seats were the most comfortable car seats I've ever sat in, but this is on another level of comfort in my opinion. Both front and back seats are exceptionally upholstered in black leather with orange piping and also heated. The front seats are moved forward using the lever just behind the headrest and can be brought forward and back using the button just in front of that. Passengers in the rear have their own set of controls for the rear windows, the lights and a storage compartment, in addition to a back of seat wallet. In my opinion, the rear seats are actually more comfortable than the front, they offer more space and support. For when the driver decides to deploy all 400 horses, there are straps for the passengers. The rear controls also have a cigar slash cigarette lighter. The illuminated rear of the front storage panel has device connectivity and enough space for a champagne bottle. Below the control panel is a small storage area or another ashtray and further down two cup holders. The illuminated glove compartment is opened using the chrome button to the right of it and has the controls for the spirit of ecstasy.
There are two front reading lights above the rearview mirror, as well as controls for the lift and boot. The official boot capacity is 395 litres, and as well as popping up, also folds down. The boot is exquisitely finished and folds out to provide a perfect area to picnic from. The driver and passenger each have illuminated vanity mirrors. So that concludes my tour of this 2014 Series 2 Phantom Coupe. This car is currently for sale at Superviture. I'll leave a link to their page in the description below. Please subscribe for the latest content and until next time, cheers.